What's up, guys? My name is Josh Richards, and you're watching Hollywire. What's up, Hollywire? Gabby Conti here with Josh Richards. Josh, thank you so much for being here. I want to hear all about this movie you're doing with Mark Wahlberg. So this was something ever since I was a young kid that I always looked forward to doing and also looking at Mark Wahlberg as an idol my entire life, aspiring to follow his career footsteps. Uh, definitely, it, it just feels it feels amazing to be able to be doing this with him. Um, is this movie, so you produced it and you're in it, you're acting in it, right? Yeah, yeah. Right, and Mark Wahlberg, I'm assuming, was probably around your age when he came out to Los Angeles, maybe, right? So did he give you any advice on navigating Hollywood? Oh, for sure. I mean, it's it's been great to have him as that mentor, right? Uh, I just someone that I can talk to about the acting or uh, get get a sense of of how I should kind of hold myself or handle myself when I'm getting in these rooms with producers or or directors or casting directors as well. So it's been it's been uh, an honor to be able to kind of be under him and, and be under his wing. Amazing. And Josh, we've seen your career grow so much since we caught up with you at the Sway House years ago. I don't know if that video haunts you on your feed. It's been a long time since then. And just seeing how much your career has changed and evolved, how has your career evolvement affected your relationships at all, either with friends or with dating? Yeah, I mean, I think that over the last year, I've definitely become probably the most antisocial I've ever been in my life. Like, I'm a very social guy. I love being out in the public eye. I love being around people, just socializing. It makes me, it just, it's me. Like, that makes me feel like me. And the, for the last year, it's just been a big focus on starting up CrossCheck and all the different fields that CrossCheck touches into. So, uh, definitely has been like a little bit more to keep into myself or keeping kind of to my inner circle of three or four really close friends. But, uh, I think as time keeps going on and, and I keep kind of laying down these big uh, initial steps, I you know am able to go out a little more, have more free time, but yeah. Could you tell us who those three to four close friends are? Who your top four now of friends? I mean, Michael Gruen, Anthony Reeves, and Gavin Stevenson are like, they're, they're the boys for the rest of my life. Like, I, I love them so much. And we'll always make sure that they're, they're right by my side, so. Got it, got it. Um, and I, you know, I have to, I have to ask you about the tea, about your dating life, because I, every day people, you're like dating this person, you're like not dating this person. So I just want to know, I don't know, are you single? What are you looking for in a relationship? Yeah, yeah. Um, no, I'm, I'm very single. I've been single for a while. Uh, but I, I, I don't, I don't, I guess like, what am I looking for in a relationship? A girl that can like challenge me. Say, you know like I can I can I can be like challenged by like she she's having like huge conversations with me or like we're able to debate with each other. I don't know I just like that when I'm able to be like challenged over. that's amazing and how will you approach your next relationship differently than relationships in the past um I mean I, I would say like probably maybe maybe take things slower or not be as like public maybe you know I, I feel like it's good when it can kind of be your own thing that's why I love like hang like I brought up Anthony earlier like me and Anthony when we hang out we just hang out there's no social media there's no like talking about business every day I see that kid it's just like we just kick it and, and I think there's something really special about that especially when you're in a job where so much of your personal life gets put on into your your world and into the public eye and into your job, it's it's really important to have those things that you just keep for yourself, so yeah. I love that. Well, you did just post a TikTok with you and Anthony doing this dance. I don't know when that was shot. When oh was yeah, shot. oh yeah, hit the little jumping up and down. Anthony yeah. teach me how to do it real quick. We, we thought we'd start 2022 the same way we started like 2021, which was, you know, him teaching me how to do one of his dances. So give it a, give a little, you know, fans that I want to see. I love that. I didn't know how deep that was. So you're now making content on Patreon, correct? Yes. So can you tell me about that and how the content you're putting on there is different from what we've seen on TikTok and Instagram and all your other platforms? Yeah, of course. I, I think with a lot of the content that I'm posting on TikTok or when I post on YouTube or do my podcast, you're seeing a lot of social media content, right? It's stuff where I'm talking about the social media world. Even the podcast, it's it's about me and Dave or me kind of educating Dave on this crazy world of TikTok and, and the drama that kind of unfolds. And then when you get over to the Patreon, there's so much more that really goes on behind the scenes of what goes on in my life that I think is really interesting and cool that isn't so much involved in, you know, the 
wiggling around on a camera and looking cute. You know what I'm saying? So the, the business side of it, the, the going into those meetings with uh, other co-founders, talking to funds, talking uh, to NBA players with our agency, going in uh, the brainstorm rooms when there's, it's it just, you kind of get the sense of actually how much work goes behind uh, everything that you kind of see on a screen that's only 15 seconds. And I think for a lot of those kids out there that aspire to be the next big star or, or want to kind of know the process of what's it like being an entrepreneur and a social media influencer, it kind of gives them that inside look and gives them that their, their initial footsteps that they can learn and take as well. Thank you so much, Josh. Thank you guys. And guys, keep it here at Hollywire for your 24 seven celebrity news.